Hello, my name is Mittal Masuria and I am working with the Clinical Genetics Department here in Leicester. This podcast is about neurofibromatosis type 2, sometimes abbreviated to NF2. In neurofibromatosis type 2, individuals often develop tumours on the nerves important for hearing and can also occasionally develop tumours on the spinal cord and other areas of the brain. The NF2 clinical service is run nationally in a hub-and-spoke fashion, where larger centres or hubs work with smaller satellite centres or spokes. Cambridge is the central hub for clinics in Leicester and Nottingham. Neurofibromatosis type 2 is usually caused by a spelling mistake in the NF2 gene. Genes code for proteins that are important in building and maintaining the body. Occasionally, this alteration can occur for the first time in the womb during development and is therefore not inherited. The likelihood of passing on this gene change depends on whether the alteration is also present in the tissues which produce the egg or sperm. This process is called mosaicism. If the gene change is passed on, the subsequent inheritance is autosomal dominant. For more information regarding this, please refer to our video on inheritance patterns. To see if a person has evidence of NF2, we assess the family history and are often able to offer a blood test to try and identify an alteration in the NF2 gene. Although the patient is born with the alteration, patients rarely develop any problem before the age of 12. After this age, we recommend that anyone who has inherited the gene or alteration has the following screening tests. Regular eye tests, and these can usually be carried out in the community by an optician. Regular hearing tests, called audiograms. Regular scans using a magnet type technology known as MRI. These are used to look for tumours often attached to the nerves important for hearing or in the spinal cord. If any tumours are found, their growth can be monitored or they can often be removed. In some cases, radiotherapy can also be used. In general, brain scans are recommended annually and spinal scans are recommended every three to five years so that tumours can be detected at an early stage. If you notice any loss of balance, numbness in the face or hearing or visual problems, please contact your doctor. In some cases, a gene alteration cannot be detected. This does not always exclude neurofibromatosis type 2 being the correct diagnosis. In this scenario, it is difficult to judge how long the children should be screened for. Usually, if the children are well and have normal scans, they can be reassured by their mid-twenties that the risk of them developing NF2 is likely to be low. The development of new treatments means that patients' hearing is preserved and the overall outcomes are better when the individuals have input from national specialist centres. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the Clinical Genetics Department on 0116 258 5736. Thank you.